Hello, so I'm Ian Healy, the training coordinator for the Gloucestershire Cave Rescue Group and we're going to have a look at our um, JAG system that we use on our short slick stretcher and other stretchers um, to change the position of the, the stretcher from a vertical position like it is now to perhaps a horizontal position. Sometimes for the casualties um, benefit in terms of their medical needs they're better off in a horizontal position when you can actually get them into that uh, orientation. Um, other times, obviously, the cave pitch is going to determine what position the, cave, uh, the, the stretcher has to go in. Uh, if it's very short and narrow, you might have to go up vertically to, to get them off the pitch. But a big, wide open pitch, you might want to go horizontal. So we've got a four to one pulley system here uh, with this jag. The bottom two pulleys are just um, pulleys. But at the top, we've got a, um, a progress capture pulley operating with a cam so that it can be pulled tighter and it will then grip this rope. So it's just 8 mil rope, but with the 4 to 1 that we've got on here, it's um, quite strong enough and it's um, designed for the job. So we're going to go now to a horizontal position. Um, I would be the barrow boy operating this at the stretcher. And this is one of the big advantages of this system in that it's not being operated remotely by the people hauling on the ropes. Um, previously we used to have different team on a red rope, different team on a blue rope. Those were attached to different points on the anchor, so we'd have say blue rope attached here, red rope attached there, and we could actually independently haul on them to, to change the orientation of the stretcher. But it was done remotely, they couldn't see what was happening at the stretcher very easily, and it didn't work so well. Um, everything now is attached to one central uh, pear-shaped myon up here um, and we've kept everything as short as we can so that when we get to the top of the pitch head we're not hitting the pulleys um, before the stretch is properly up. So we'll give it a go, we'll pull on this, um, say 4 to 1 pulley. These pulleys are, are sealed ball bearings with uh, about a 90% efficiency rate so uh, it's not too difficult for one person to operate. So pulling on here doesn't require a lot of strength and that way we can change the orientation of the stretcher. So you see we've uh, got them in a lot more horizontal position here. Could go right up so those pulleys are actually more or less touching. We don't want to go too far because it gets difficult to disengage um, when you want to go back to vertical. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully show you a little bit closer here what we need to do to uh, get this to come down. Um, pulley wheels are quite tight together here. Um, this is the, the working end I'm going to hold on to. And there's a button at the top um, and the, the cam itself. And I sort of pinch those, but I need to pull down in order to disengage the cam, otherwise it's, it's pinching on the teeth there. So pulling down and then that allows it to slip through. And then we can let out some uh, slack there, change the position of the stretcher. Something that the new JAG systems have is a protective sock, uh, like a sleeve that comes over these ropes to stop them tangling and getting things stuck in them, the casualties arms or whatever it might be. And that's certainly something that we're going to look at um, doing going onwards is to, to get a, a protective sock to go over there and it keeps this all a bit tidier. So the Jag Rig lives in a little bag here, it says Jag Rig for stretcher. It lives with the stretcher and it's all connected up. Just needs the connecting points attaching to the appropriate place on the stretcher. It's all together out of this bag. <laughs> 